been here before, welcome back. If you haven't, you have much to catch up on. Nearly five years ago, we sold our goat farm in Victoria to hit the road in a truck and caravan. After four years of exploring Australia, we have changed course a little, selling our caravan and buying a 48 foot yacht. Exploring overland is still a priority in our truck, but now we are adding the sea to our adventures. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we don't know how to sail. G'day everyone. I have been taking it easy for the last few days, but this morning my first job is to start fitting our new Samson post. Cut out the wood obviously previously and we're going to test fit our new post. There. So we still need to obviously weld it all in and put a brace on the bottom of it down there and of course seal it all up but that's where it's going to go for now looks okay won't fall off in a hurry much better than this style of little one that we previously had so that's good My mission over the next few days is to number one drink a lot of water because I don't know whether you can see but it is super humid here and I'm sweating everywhere out of control so to drink a lot of water and then to fix up our helm area it's got some rust that's starting to develop on the floor and around a few of the drains and so on and at the same time I'm going to lower the the standing position where you steer from so it's way up here and when I stand on it my head is above the top of the roof and I can't look out the window so I'm going to lower that down here 200 millimeters so it's in lower it'll probably make a better seating position as well and redo all of this fix it all up fix the rust repaint it and then hopefully it's all nice and new. I have been repainting the gunnels down the sides over the last couple days. You can see all the nice blue rust is all treated and repaired. So that should help everything a little bit, hey? Eh? But now on to the helm area. So I really want to get that rust down the bottom there sorted out before it gets too bad. So we're going to repaint it white, but no one else is going to do it, so someone's got to do it. Can't leave it like that forever. And I've got a week spare, so let's do it. In between fixing the the um, Samson post down the front, just waiting for a welder, so I can do this. You might ask, what the hell am I doing with my face shield on and my glasses on? Well, it's the only face shield I had. It's my chainsaw one, thanks to Brody and Brody for a present. Because I have got this. I've never used one before. Well, I have, but not this exact style. And it looks dangerous to me, hey? 
spinning at 7,000 RPM or whatever the grinder does, if something like this comes off, it all goes straight through my eye without a doubt. So the reason I've got this is I'm gonna give it a go on the rust and see what it's like and how well it works. But I'll let you know, we'll soon see. Looks pretty savage to me, hence the face shield. Maybe I should have had a dust mask on, but too late now. Something a little bit uh, more placid. What am I doing? I'm installing our cowfish omnidirectional antenna up here on our mizzen mast. So that will help our Wi-Fi a lot. Um, every meter you go up is normally about double signal strength. So we're up here, I don't know how far, 10 meters, seven meters. So that should definitely help. It um, still needs strength and signal obviously to work, but at least this will help us as best we can. I could put it up higher, but then I would have to run the cable all the way down the mast, um, which is difficult. So we're just going for here at the moment and we will see how it will work. Get a nice view up here, storm's coming. Bundaberg Marina. How are you doing down there, Kathleen? Great, thank you. I'm filming you sweeping. I'm uh, getting rid of your mess. <laughs> My mess. That doesn't sound like something that I would do. a bit of a foos up. Yeah. Get me my pointy nose pliers please. G'day everyone. So we've got a little problem with our generator. The injector pump on the generator is leaking so i've decided to give it a go and try and fix it and it's turned into a bigger job than i initially thought so i've got to take the inlet manifold off and a few other things off just to see whether i can get to the uh, injector pump take the pumps out put new seals on them and o-rings and then put it back together but we'll see how we go hey nice and early this morning because we've got Tom the uh, boiler maker fabricator that's coming around to weld in our Samson post and to finish off our anchor roller system so hopefully he'll be here reasonably soon it's half past six at the moment so he should be here in a little bit and we can get cracking on that today is a bit of an overcast day it's not looking super sunny outside I don't know whether you can see out there but main thing is 
long as it doesn't rain. And of course, bacon and eggs for brekkie on muffins with oh, well, a bit of greenery and redry just to make it healthier. I just thought I'd give you a quick update on our Samson post. It is all completed. There's the bottom of it attached to our main eye beam that runs through. Anchor well's all been repainted after all the grinding and welding and all of that sort of thing. Windless batteries back in. All nicely sealed up and finished. And while I'm at it, I'll show you the helm area. I've been into that as well. So the helm area, I have stripped it all back, got rid of the rust, rust treated it, primed it and repainted it. And it is all looking very nice now. Cover's got to go back on and we'll put it all back together. Got to be happy with that. Looks good.